All right, so I'm 17 seconds in recording F1 2020. Wow. I'm gonna start a new series and see how the recording and audio goes here. But uh, I've been playing F1 2020 for about a month and a half now. And we're gonna start a new career. Let's go to start a new career. Welcome to the beginning of your Formula One journey. Before competing at the top level, we will start with the F2 tester. Is one of the key steps many drivers will take on the path to Formula One. It is a championship where the best up and coming drivers. Uh, I just completed this uh, not too long ago. And then when I uh, moved into the F1 um, career mode, I changed the settings and found it was a lot more difficult. Um, again, I'm new to this whole video game here. Um, but they have more realistic approaches with the braking. Um, and so it was slightly different uh, play and handling for the cars. So I'm going to start the series again from the F2, the F2 career and then migrate back. But let's just pick a brand. What brand did I go with last time? Let's go BWT. Um, well, I don't remember this. Sure, let's do that one. Start career. Now, I don't remember. Casual off-track surfaces, easier to drive over, options. Simplified steering, side track assist. I think that's what I want, casual. Yeah, let's go casual. AI, so I want to crank the AI driver level up a little bit. Found it too easy. Let's get to medium first. Okay, there you go. Weird. So now it's recording, so if I didn't get the audio, he'll get it from the uh, GoPro. And the drivers are making their final preparations down on the grid before lights out. Look around, it's a spectacular setting, and I'm sure today's race will do it justice. But we'll see uh, how the audio goes. As we're now moments away from the off, let's take a look at the grid order in which they'll start today's race. I really don't know what I'm recording right now. Here we go. Cool. Good first turn. So I like this casual mode. I don't lock my brakes up because it's a uh, lock brake assist, I believe. Yeah, so it doesn't go all crazy. So I like this better until I get better. Oh! And then once I get more familiar with the controls, then I'll uh, notch up a few of the settings to more realistic race day experience, if you will. Oh, what are you doing? Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Regularly, that would have been more damage to the car. But no. So if I were to... Yeah, see my tires? No damage to it. Because regularly, if it was all the settings dialed in like an actual race, um, that contact that I had earlier, a few turns earlier, I would have had to go box and get a new uh, set of tires. Or front tires anyways. like late on the braking but yeah so usually when you have significant damage on the car uh, you're asked to come uh, back into the pits get parts replaced or if it's ooh, like severe enough like that you might actually have to retire because your car gets mangled severely and you're in cars are capacitated uh, you can race the rest of the way but this just gives this uh, anyone who's new to this this game a little bit more of a fun factor, a little bit more ease into it until you get used to everything, all the dynamics. 
and when to break, when not to break. Like, again, if you break too soon uh, or too late, then that affects the way your car, uh, your ha handling essentially, which again, if you drive a car, that's normal, but in a racing game, it's usually just like a arcade sim. But if you have everything dialed in like realistically, then that's where you'd, again, as if like a, you're an F1 driver, but uh, I'm still getting used to it, so let's keep it as easy as possible here. <laughs> but again, we'll start with the F2. That was the fastest lap of the race. Keep this up. Yeah, usually on those corners, I'd always uh, break too late, lock up the brakes, and then uh, either spin out and other uh, drivers behind you to overtake me, and I'd be um, way behind the field. And then even on some of the uh, settings, I would actually put it back to, uh, ooh, I hate this corner. Um, the driver AI, I tried going up to about a 45, uh, at one point even uh, 55, and it was more than enough to be in a medium setting that it was difficult to even, even catch up uh, to some of these drivers. Um, but whereas here, it's just one notch above, the easy level. It's a lot easier to just kind of catch some drivers even if you're in the middle of the pack or if you spin out uh, it's easy to even come back from like um, position number 20 and then become the driver of the day because you literally blitz through all the field. Uh, <laughs> but again once I get used to this and more uh, familiar with the dynamics of the game and especially the track too. Each track is a little different. Uh, then I'll start dialing it a little bit more on the uh, from novice or rookie to uh, more seasoned vet or professional. Good job. That was the fastest lap of the race so far. Ooh. Whoa. So just ten laps. And that's the main difference too, is uh, a beginner level, you don't do as many laps. Sure people watch this already know that, but uh, yeah. Anything more like pro, professional level, uh, you're doing like your 60 or 40 plus laps, depending on the uh, track. Oh. Yeah, like this is a huge gap that I've kind of. And also, I'm also an automatic gearbox. I think generally you have that chance to actually use manual gearboxes. Uh, but I'm like, you know what? I still get familiar with the game too. And for the controls that I'm using, I'm using a regular uh, software Xbox controller and not a steering wheel. I don't think I'll ever migrate to a steering wheel. But you never know. But yeah, uh, gearing up and down is something I don't want to be doing right now anyways. So I'll just keep it completely automatic here for now. You can see the gap between me and uh, P2 is, uh, oh, it's that corner again. So if I make mistakes, I have enough of a buffer. Like, look at that. Like, he's... Yeah. <laughs> that was a bad... It's that, that dreaded turn. Turn three or turn two. Oh, cutting corners. Yes, boss. Yeah, so again, got this uh, game on Steam when it was on sale about a month and a half ago. Um, it was a YouTuber, Carl Conrad who was doing a masterclass with uh, Charles Laura Leclerc of, um, from Ferrari. I butchered his name. And so that's kind of got what got me hooked to the game. Uh, so literally went to Steam, checked it out, and I was like, oh, it's on sale. And then just purchased it. And I haven't, lo haven't looked back since. Just F1 in general. I just don't know why I slept on this sport for many years. Um, I literally could not watch a Premier League or any football games, even NFL, can't even sit through a game. Whereas something like F1, I could, oh, F1 I could definitely do. 
race weekends every every week. Um, even watching the practices is very interesting as well. But race day for sure Sundays. It's awesome. I can watch the full the full race and not get bored. And I wonder if it's just because it's still a fast paced uh, sport. Uh, soccer definitely is boring or football and then NFL just again I can't sit through a full NFL game. Oh yeah. And I think the other thing too is when I saw um, that master class with uh, Ferrari Scuderi I also uh, was introduced to uh, what was it Netflix's uh, documentary F1's uh, Formula One Drive to Survive and that just kind of cemented the whole new fandom, if you will, for me. The whole sport of F1. The drama. It's just funny. Funny and interesting at the same time. You're like, well, if you're playing this game on easy, don't you get bored? No, not at all. <laughs> I think I'd get more frustrated if I can't even be in the middle of the pack. Or be competitive. Yeah. So yeah, I'll probably just record this quick video, this first race, and then call that a call that a day. Uh, I just wanted to test out all my gear. I've got all the equipment, just never really done the recording and voiceovers, I guess, or recording audio. But uh, I had a little bit of initial difficulty recording the gameplay here, so it's choppy, uh, chopped up uh, files. I'm gonna put it up in the editing software and see, but. Um, and then see what the audio is like with the uh, Yeti here, Yeti caster slash combo that I got in March. And then again, getting used to playing the game and doing talk or talk at the same time, which is very, very difficult. Not as easy as it seems. But yeah, here we go, lap eight. So big race coming up here for uh, the actual F1 season. Uh, Sunday will be the last race of the year. It's good to see that uh, uh, Lewis. Oh. oh, not that corner again. See, I can't talk. I can't talk and play at the same time. Uh, but yeah, it'll be an interesting uh, race in Abu Dhabi. Lewis Hamilton will be back and no doubt should be the winner. Oh, good turn, good turn. Uh, after he uh, tested positive for uh, COVID-19 a uh, week and a half ago. Week and a half ago? Yeah. Oh, bump it, bump it, bump it. <laughs> pump break, pump break. This sim game is just, it's fantastic. We'll probably play... Oh, it's that corner again. Yeah, there we go. Back on asphalt. There we go. Just no, oh, no, maybe it isn't. No, it's this corner. I thought it was this corner or the earlier corner that I had difficulty with. Oh, there's a car. Be aware, there's an incident in the next part of the track. No overtaking through the yellow flags. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Crank it. I was going to say earlier was I just noticed my mouth is open this whole entire time. Seems to be a normal thing with me when I play video games. Uh. <laughs> mm. 
ripping it again. Ripping and gripping. One more lap. This is your final lap. Final lap of the race. Okay, not this corner. I think it's the second, third corner? No, it is this corner. Slow down. There you go, RJ. There you go. Oh, and the whole Vlogmas thing that I try to upload a video every day failed after like 34 days, but uh, yeah. Another uh, thing that's easier said than done. Just a tad fast on that corner. Increasing the speed. I really wish Vancouver would get something back in a... Something similar to like a F1, maybe like Molson Indy, like back in the day. But it'd be kind of cool if they built a F1 track. Bit, made a bid. Even if, even if I don't even know if F1 is even interested in that. But that'd be cool. So yeah, we'll just do this one video and then I'll see if anything's worthwhile footage-wise to edit. And if it is, then I'll put it together and pop it onto YouTube. Ooh, live streaming's another one. I don't even know. I don't even know how to get that As going. They make their way down to the podium. There's no denying the strength of the Arden team. Arden aren't afraid to take risks on new talent. Hmm. And it certainly looks like it paid off today. Fantastic work. The one thing I'm wondering on these... Uh, race simulations or for F1 2020 if uh, there's a way when you start a career uh, that you can import your face onto a character. I didn't see that when I started playing this game about a month and a half ago um, but I'm sure it was something that's brought up uh, to the developers of the game but that'd be kind of cool if that's a feature and if it is so then, I don't even know how to, to get to that uh, the feature. It's a good result the game. But it'd be cool to scan your face, kind of like so NBA 2K. Um, NBA 2K? Have, yeah, they do have it. And some of the uh, editions of that game, you can scan your face via mobile and then upload it. But I believe this is going to go. Okay, so let's just... Rewarding to earn a podium rather than dominating from the start. Uh, yeah, sure. Things are definitely hotting up this season. Who do you think will take the championship? <laughs> I'll get too cocky here. There's a lot of buzz around you. Do you see yourself graduating to Formula One after the season? That's always the focus. Oh, wrong answer. <laughs> Great. Well, that's everything. From what I saw comment-wise, or from people who have been playing or, um, for these uh, F1 games, saying that some of these cutscenes are kind of uh, generic or the same ones from the years past. Uh, but being new to this kind of game, or being new to the game, it's not bad. But yeah, I'll end it right here, and um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. And what an event we have in store for you today.